Hey guys, Spud here, as always. And today I wanted to bring you guys a quick and dirty video to show you just how easy and just how quickly you can set up a DCS World server using Fox3 Managed Solutions. Now, as you guys have heard me say countless times now on the channel, Fox3 Managed Solutions is the absolute best and most powerful way that you can set up a DCS World server. Whether you need one for a one-time event, you want to have a regular server to run missions on for your squadron or your virtual air wing, or you want to set up a persistent server that's just going to be up and running from now into perpetuity until you get tired of it. So I'm going to bring you guys through step zero. I just finished creating my mission to step I'm in the game and flying in my server in the mission I just created. I think a lot of you guys out there are going to be really shocked by just how quickly and easily we can do this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to just tab out over to Chrome here and we can see this is our mission signup sheet rather uh, complex here, but it doesn't matter how complex or how simple your mission is, but we got to make sure we get it onto the server here so that way we can be ready to rock and roll when everybody goes to actually start hopping in the server here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up two new Chrome tabs, one to the DCS World main website here, and of course, one to the Fox 3 Managed Solutions Mission Cloud. Now, this is a really, really easy way we can just simply upload the missions and Fox 3 Managed Solutions, the owner Luck, as well as his advisor and helper DJ have made this absolutely seamless. So we just go over to our files here. And now, of course, we need to navigate to our um, multiplayer missions folder where we've been creating those missions. And we can see we have our Operation Burning Sands Mission 6 Alpha Testbed MIZ file here. That's what we want to use for today. So all we need to do is simply drag and drop. Boop, it's now uploaded. We can see Operation Burning Sands Mission 6 Alpha Testbed. And then all we need to do now is go over to our Digital Combat Simulator website uh, tab here. Go to log out of the current login that I was in there and go to my Fox 3 Spud Knocker login. Of course, we're going to make sure our password is not shown to you guys here. We're going to authorize that. We're now logged in. Go to our profile. Go to the My Servers list here. We're going to click on this guy. This is going to open us up to the DCS World Server dashboard where we can control our server and uh, we should have our mission already uploaded to it from uploading it to the Fox 3 Missions Cloud website. All we need to do now is just hit add mission. Operation Burning Sands Mission 6A testbed, add. I would usually give things a little bit of time for the actual server to think about it a little bit. The web GUI for the DCS World servers is not the fastest thing in the world. We're now going to run that mission. The mission is now running. The server is paused, so let's go ahead and resume the server. Give it a few seconds to think about some stuff as you unpause the server before you start pressing other buttons. Mission is now Operation Burning Sands uh, 6A test bed. Beautiful. We're going to go to multiplayer now. Multiplayer. We'll search for our Spud Knocker mission here, or server I should say. Spud Knocker mission server fox3ms.com number 247 Operation Burning Sands Mission 6A test bed. We're going to join that bad guy right there. We're going to auto connect to our SRS. SRS as well as all of the ports required, just everything is taken care of on the back end by the Fox 3 staff. And that just makes things so easy for you as the mission editor and event coordinator. We're now in our mission, ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and hop into our assigned aircraft for today, which is going to be Snoopy 11 as the pilot here and uh, we'll just hop into it. Wait for my cockpit to load around me here. 
of course, the DCS terrain is loading thanks to the update number 2.8, which made this loading process a little bit slower. It's kind of disconcerting when you're unpaused and uh, you feel like you're going to fall through the earth there. But uh, there we go, guys. I'm now sitting in the cockpit of my Apache or whatever cockpit you of the jet or helicopter you're going to fly. And it's that easy. I think it took uh, probably less than five minutes for us to get from step finished making the mission to step in the cockpit of our Apache ready to rock and roll for this mission. Now, like I said, guys, and I keep saying it, but it is a godsend having a service like Fox 3 Managed Solutions because they just take care of everything for you. There's nothing that you have to do other than what you just saw right here. So it's that easy. And it just makes hosting missions so much easier and so much more fun. And you just don't have to worry about any of that back end stuff here. So again, I can't say enough great things. It has made my life so much easier when it comes to hosting these events. And uh, I hope you give them a shot because I think they're definitely worth it. They're a bunch of nice guys and their customer service is really, really fantastic. So we'll see you in the next one, guys. I hope you enjoy the video here, and I hope you enjoy this coming up uh, mission from Spuds Buds that we're going to run in the morning here. And I uh, hope you enjoy watching me fail flying the Apache. So uh, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Fly safe and have fun out there.